Smilers. This is Cat Smiles. How are you guys doing today? So today we are going to try and make cold porcelain. However, using our homemade whole wheat glue. glue. We are also going to substitute the baby oil or mineral oil for canola oil since, well, that's what I have. So I wanted to give it a try because it's like, why not? We know we can make a paste that will stick pretty much anything, but what else can we do with it? So this is going to be our test. We're going to see if we can make little figurines and you guys get to choose what I try and make. Just a little guy. Do remember that cold porcelain will shrink and this is ooh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know I almost tempted to make some um slime for that one all right so the recipe is really simple it is just everything you see here you do might want to use some some ran wrap uh, I'm actually out of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and just line this with the lotion and then use it that way uh, we will be microwaving this you can do it on the oven as well but I'm just going to go with what I'm going to go with so what we're going to have is one cup of the cornstarch or corn flour depending on where you're at then we have the whole wheat homemade glue this is about one cup give or take I'm going to play this one by ear to see how much if I need to put more in um, one tablespoon of the canola oil one tablespoon of the vinegar and you put the vinegar in there to help stop with molding and things like that since this is a homemade item uh, and then we have the hand lotion that's just so it doesn't stick to your hands you can also just wear gloves another thing if you get any of those um, sandwich bags that have the little you flip your own um, not the ziplock ones but the other ones those pick perfectly for people who have small hands like mine as you can see I have pretty small hands. You can also use just everyday dye to dye it as well because do remember whatever glue you use that will be the color of the clay. So we'll see how that works. And I do have the video up um, to make this so if you guys want to test this out if you only have whole wheat flour you still can do something. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Oh, don't forget you also need a microwave safe bowl, mixing utensils, and measuring. Um, you also need a container that is sealable. This one is very handy, but I need to return it soon. Because um, you will need to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour before you can start playing with it. So, go ahead and get started. So as simple as that, fill up your guys' container. Remember, that's going to be about the color. So we're going to wait on the food coloring for now. And that is our oil. Get all of that in. Like I said, I don't know how this glue is going to hold up to real glue. But look how lovely that is. Yuck. Wood glue probably will look about the same consistency, I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe. And then our vinegar. Now let's stir this baby up. I usually use a whisk. I just like whisks better. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I don't make a mess, right? Right. 
Now, I did get this partial recipe from Nerdy Gamer Girl or Nerdy Gamer um, Crafter. Nerdy Gamer Crafter Girl. I'll get it, girl. I'll get it, girl. I watch you very. <laughs> I just not good with names. But do remember, this is definitely not a 100% take on what she makes. Looks like oatmeal with powdered sugar. Does not smell like it though. Really gross. Nope, come on. Droids. Okay, so once you have it all mixed up to a pretty good consistency, what you're going to do is take this over to your microwave and put it in for 30 seconds. I'm actually just going to put this in for about 15 and then work my way up that way. Because uh, this is a little thicker than what I would expect. So we'll definitely come back in a second. I'll see you guys in the next clip. So we'll come back to the next clip. Guys, I'm telling you, I've put this in for so many minutes that it is just crazy. I started with the 15 seconds, and then I went up to the 30 seconds. I did 30 seconds for at least five times. And then I said, you know what, whatever. And then I put it in for a minute. Um probably overcook it but it's just it did not get over that like this is like the thickest I've seen it it just it stayed goopy so okay so what you're gonna do next is go ahead and clean out your bowl because every bit counts right when you do take it out of the microwave do make sure that you test it before picking it up because it is super, super hot still. Especially if you put it in for the full minute. And as you can see, it kind of got a really nice brown to it. So go ahead and let that sit for a second. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the lotion. This is how I see the, how they do it, so, yeah, why not? Plus, it's always good for your hands, right? And then, they just say keep kneading it, but I think I did too much of a little show, I'm telling you. Oh, it's sticking to my table. Super hot.
And what you can do with this, if you don't have saran wrap like I do, is just go ahead and turn it inside out. Put lotion on your hands. It also helps get all that clay off. And then just rub the bag. Go ahead and you usually don't want to have that much on you. But if you get it on the outside, who cares? Go ahead and grab your dough. Make sure all of the air pockets are out. As you can see, I just pushed it off. And welcome back creators. Um, I did overcook it as you guys know. So what I did was I just poured some water in here. Um, it's been way over 24 hours since I've made this, but what I did was I poured some water in it just now and I'm just kneading it up to kind of give it a little bit more non-cookage. <laughs> so basically that's what you're just gonna do. What you can usually do is what I've seen is people poke hose into the um, cylinders and then leave it there for 24 hours and then um need it so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to need it now and then go from there and then put it back into my little container and let it dry out just a little bit before i start to play with it well i just wanted to keep you guys up to date and we'll see if this works see you guys in the next clip okay guys so I'm not sure if you can actually see this, but at first I put way too much water in that just a second ago. The water that you seen that I had in there before was probably the amount that it needed. However, like always, I overdid it. And so I decided instead of getting my table dirty, I would just use this recyclable bag, right? You know, nice clean. There's one problem. Look at that. See that green? See that green? It is dying my clay which is fine because I'm going to paint over it anyway but this is just something you guys want to watch out for um, whatever you do use it will sink into your dye and your clay and I don't know if this is savable so we'll see welcome back to the next clip guys so this is basically what I have made. I've been actually balling this for quite some time. Um, but honestly, this is not how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to be nice and creamy. It's supposed to be able to, you know, compare to the difference. I mean, this is nice and warm. It's been in my hands. This is really, really cold. And as you can see, it's sticky. Um, I'm just going to leave it a little sticky like this. As you can see, when you pull it apart, it's actually supposed to come off to this beautiful cone and wrap around like an ice cream cone, you know? soft serves um but of course i didn't make this recipe like everybody else does with the cold porcelain i don't even know if this is actually should be called cold cold porcelain um so yeah so that's about what you're what i have so far i did add a lot of water and corn syrup to it corn syrup excuse me corn starch not syrup so that's about what you're going to get for this process. Um, this one's a lot more, like I said, I have been balling this up a lot. So this one kind of gives you a little bit more dryness to it so that you can mold it into something. What I'm going to do is just make a little teeny, I don't know what yet. So that's about as much as I'm going to use for this bag. And as you can see, it did make quite a bit. Guys, welcome back to the next clip. So I'm at basically at the end. I've already made the teeny figure. This is Miles, if you can see him. I've already made the teeny figure. Um, however, I want to kind of give that one its own video. So just to show you the end process of this. Um, when you do need it for a while, it does kind of become the consistency that you're looking for. Um, as you can see, this is still breaks off when it's supposed to be more of a creamier, um, you know, creamier separation. So yeah, but as you'll see in the video with the figure, um, it does get a little bit better than just the breakage. So 
this is what you get so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Um, it is a lot of fun to play with. It is not that stinky compared to how it used to be. Um, but I also think that's because of the lotion as well. So cold porcelain with homemade wheat glue. And yeah, not too shabby. And as you can see, my cats do not want to eat it, so that is also good. Even though it is completely safe. You do get a good sized bag of this. Do remember to keep it in the refrigerator. I've heard it could be up to two weeks. Um, some people say longer, but that's all depends. Definitely keep checking on it because you just never know. Alright, I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting.